Good morning, friends. Lois with LA Grace's Attic here this morning. Uh, I do not have a craft this morning. What I do have is a little mom hack I'm going to share with you. This is my first time trying this, so I'm super excited about this DIY. Um, for those of you who don't know me, Lois East with LA Grace's Attic, and we do all things crafty here on this page. Um, we Our main business is selling wooden signs. We paint beautiful handmade, hand-painted wooden signs and crafts of all kinds. Um, and I'm usually on here sharing something crafty. Um, but if you follow me for more than a minute, you know I love coffee. <laughs> so this morning I'm about to head up to the studio. It's cold here in North Alabama. It's 28 degrees this morning, which I know for my northern friends is probably like springtime, but it's really cold here for us. So uh, today is a work at home uh, in my husband's sweatshirt. It's a beanie kind of a day. Uh, I've got on some warm leggings and you can't see it, but I've got on some fur lined boots. So yes, it today calls for coffee. So one of the other things I love is trying to make uh, the things that I clean with, the things that I feed my family as clean as possible or as mo more on the natural side as possible. And so today we're gonna be making some homemade powdered coffee creamer. Um, I've shared with you guys some liquid creamer before, some pumpkin spice creamer. Uh, we've shared that before, some caramel uh, creamer, vanilla creamer that involves condensed milk. It's really yummy. But today we're just gonna make like a simple uh, plain Jane coffee creamer. Um, you can certainly add flavor to this. You could add some like uh, vanilla bean or you could add some peanut butter powder or chocolate powder. You can, you know, flavor it up that way. But I just want something uh, general for my coffee station behind me. Uh, and so that's what we're gonna do today. It has two ingredients. That's it. So it's super simple. And it's gonna start with some powdered dry milk. I'm using, um, Nestle Carnation. It's instant non-fat dry milk. Um, of course, you can use whatever. This is not a sponsorship. This is just what I had and it's almost out. I use this to make my hot cocoa mix, which I'll have to share that recipe with you one day. But I had this on hand. It's almost out, so I just went and picked up a new uh, container um, but of course you can use whatever you have on hand uh, whatever dry milk you prefer and then we have some good old powdered sugar it's that easy so we're gonna get started I'm gonna measure out two cups I have a big uh, bowl here two cups of this I did I searched a lot of recipes on Pinterest because you know that's what you do in the three hours um, so yeah, I searched a lot, I'm gonna need a fork. Searched a lot of recipes, they called for a lot of different things. Um, I kind of wrote down all the ideas and I just thought, you know what? I think I can get away with the, just these two ingredients. So that's what we're gonna try. Now of course, you can use this. Like I said, you can flavor it up in um, lots of different ways, whatever you like. Um, I think you could probably even mix this, like scoop some of this out uh, into some hot water and let it dissolve and then put the flavor into an iced uh, coffee. So you can play with it a little bit. But the point is, if you've ever read the ingredients on the back of the non-dairy dry creamer at the store, God love it. It is full of a lot of stuff, stuff you can't even pronounce and some things that aren't so good for you. So I wanted to um, try something new, a little bit cleaner. So I have a third, uh, a third of a cup scoop. So I'm gonna measure out six of these cause I need two cups. I have to say it out loud, otherwise I'll lose count. <laughs> All right, that's two thirds. This is not enough to make another scoop, so we're gonna put that one to the side and open this one. The only reason I'm using the third scoop is because it was small enough to get in there. So that's one cup. And three makes two cups. 
the side and we're gonna pop the lid on this powdered sugar. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're just gonna add, now you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna add like three tablespoons of good old confectionery sugar just to sweeten it up just a little bit. I wish I wanted to put some vanilla bean in this, like just a scrape of vanilla bean in here, but I didn't have that. I had an empty container in my spice cabinet, which I was kind of sad about. So no vanilla beans going in here, but that's okay. It's still gonna be good. It's just gonna be plain, um, which is what I wanted. But you know, you get a wild hair. I was like, where's my fork? And uh, I thought, ooh, vanilla bean, but we're gonna do without it today. So all I'm doing, I'm using a fork. You could use a whisk. You could pulse this in your food processor, um, which is probably the best, but I have a fork in my hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. So we are just gonna whisk it up really good. Make sure um, the powdered milk is a little on the cream colored side and the um, powdered sugar, sorry, is more white. So just make sure it blends well. You can't really see any difference, but you know, it gets all in there. You shouldn't be able to see any white splotches of powdered sugar. That's how you know. You got it mixed. It should all look like one consistent powder. All right, and that is it. That's it, two ingredients without all the uck. So, or I should say, um, let me just first of all say I'm not a health expert. I'm just a mom trying to make things better for my family. Um, yeah. There are, let's see, I mean, pretty much this milk is mostly just dry milk. That's it. Okay, and powdered sugar, I don't have the ingredient list in front of me, but I'm pretty sure it's just, just that. There's probably a little bit of preservatives in it, but this is a lot better, a lot less crazy in this than in the stuff you buy in the store. So we're gonna try it out. Like I said, this is my first time doing it. I'm super excited about it. It was super easy. Like I said, a lot less of the crazy in this than the store-bought stuff. And uh, I'm gonna, I got my coffee made. I got my coffee cup out. So I'm about to try it. I'll report back later. But anyway, I hope this inspired you to clean up your coffee creamer. Y'all, I just looked at my hair. Sorry, it's kind of crazy. It's that kind of day. <laughs> but I love y'all and I hope you enjoy some warm coffee wherever you are today with some homemade coffee creamer. Take care. See you later with something crafty.